It's summer outside. What does the Almaden Valley real estate market look like? Well, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Teresa Wellman with HomeownerExperience.com, your local San Jose, California realtor. Today, we're out in an Almaden Valley backyard enjoying some of the sunshine, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the real estate market. What does it look like? Is the summer market here? What is a summer market in Almaden Valley? Well, let's jump on the computer and look at some trends and some history. Okay, here is a quick snapshot of the Almaden Valley real estate trends through May 2021 closed at the end of the month. So here we are in the mid-June where I'm a little re late recording this video this month, but I do will point out some uh, changes that have happened in the last couple of weeks in Almaden Valley real estate market. But right now, let's talk about the May trends. So as you can see, prices went slightly down, but they're up 25% year over year. So it's going to be expected to see a little fluctuations, especially with the number of sales in Almaden. We'll look at the chart and you'll see that's normal for Almaden. Uh, the number of sales were up 11% and up 276% from a year ago, which is really crazy. And that's because, you know what? The pandemic had the biggest effect on May sales in 2020. So that is a little uh, superficial to see such a huge number. We'll talk about the years before that as well. So in the field, I'm seeing a little bit of a slowdown in the Almaden Valley real estate market. Now, it's still a seller's market, but the number of offers is down to about two or three offers on most properties. The really gorgeous or super remodeled properties are still seeing more than that. But the offers are really strong. Even with two or three, they're very competitive, prices are holding, and we're seeing about 10% or more over asking. Really good, strong demand in Almaden Valley. Now the supply is up in June, and even more so, like I said in those last couple of weeks since I'm recording this video late, we are up to 24 homes on the market where the end of May we were still at 15. And I do wanna point out uh, on the MLS, there is a feature called members only or coming soon that only licensed agents can see. So if you're working with one, you'll get a sneak peek of these properties, but there are nine coming soon in Almaden. So giving us a little thought, uh, a foreword of more inventory to be coming so inventory is definitely increasing, increasing, sorry, which will change the outlook or the rhythm in the market. But we still do have a supply and demand imbalance with 49 pending properties. So even if we get up to 32 homes on market, then, you know, we're looking about a month inventory or maybe a little bit less, but still a strong market. So here's the chart with some history. As I mentioned, prices are really strong. If you look at the orange and blue lines, that is the price history orange being average and blue being the median prices. And the pending sales, as you can see, this dotted blue line have slowed slightly at the end of May. Now, I would say this is very seasonal, very typical for this time of year, and we'll talk about the peak in the market that we typically see. But the inventory, look at this yellow line, still extremely low, way below what we would expect this time of year especially, but even lower than what we've seen sometime in the winter. So it is still an extremely slow inventory market. So Almaden, it's still a seller's market because we only have nine days of inventory. And that is again, because we are just selling so many and cannot keep the amount of properties on the shelves for people to see. And that is because if you look here at the bottom, there are 76% of the homes available for sale are in contract. Now that is up from last month and it's really high. It's a record levels of number of homes in contract. Pending sales are down just about 5% as you saw a little dip and inventory is about the same except that after this data was gathered in June, it has increased with an average sales price to list price ratio of 12, 112.9%. So, you know, pending sales are still strong, even though they've dived or dipped a little bit. That's a good demand, um, really good demand by looking at the percent in contracts. I, I do see that the inventory is, uh, or sorry, the inventory is still really low, but the demand is really strong. And so the market is still pretty hot. I do expect this demand to slow based on history. So let's look at the chart and talk about that. So my market predictions for Amadine are is that sales will go down, buyer interest is gonna go down, and that's because of historical data. Look back here all the way to 2015. The peak number of sales were in June and it just went down, down, down. 2016 peak was in August, went down pretty sharply. 2017 peak was in June, it went down extremely sharply. 2018 same, we peaked in May and went down very sharply as well. 
2019, it was in June, not quite as a sharp, but you know what? Those sales in 2019 were much lower, especially at the peak numbers. 2020, we had a really strong year. It was just a little delayed. As you can see, May, the number of sales was really low. So that's what I referenced at the beginning there with that 276% more sales than a year ago. That's because look at how low that May was. But we peaked in 2020 in July and held strong for several months. There's not much of a big drop off. There was actually a little way uh, dip in the summer and then a big inc or an increase again in the fall. So uh, that is not normal to see that double dip, uh, but it does happen every so often. You see um, a little in 2016 where it peaked early in April, dipped a little bit, then peaked again. So here we are in 2021. Look at the huge increase in sales from the year. January closings were pretty strong, meaning December sales. Uh, February closings were a little bit lower, and then it just sharply increased. April and May were at very high levels. April was matching the peak of or increasing the peak of every year except 2018, it was about the same. And then here in May, we've exceeded any of this historical data I have of the last six years in Amadan Valley. So extremely strong demand in this area. But I have put in here a dotted line for the inventory. This is where the inventory stands today at about 24 um, in the middle of June. So as you can see, if I'm expecting sales to drop and the inventory to go up, hmm, we're definitely going to see a shift in the rhythm of the market. Probably not as many offers, maybe only one offer on each property, um, unless again, it's really a special spectacular property. I expect prices to kind of level off. So let's get in a little bit more about that. Um, the pending sales have dropped, which is something that is definitely telling me the number of sales in June are going to be lower. Um, I This is a huge peak, so I think that is probably our peak this year is early in May. I also think with the pandemic, a lot of people are looking to travel this summer because the rules have loosened up. I think that is also going to take some of our demand away. So another reason why I do think the number of sales is going to go down. And with the inventory going up and sales going down, there's definitely going to be a level leveling out of prices. But the prices kind of depend on how much the inventory goes up, right? Look at how low we are historically compared to other years in Alma Dunn. Even uh, 2020 peaks. It was really early, but it peaked um, just under 30. And so that is a really low number. Normal peaks are going to be more somewhere in the 40 to maybe 50 range in the summer. Many years we were much higher in the 60 and this, gosh, 2016 look up to 70 homes that we peaked in the summer. So relatively, we're still low on inventory. But if that inventory continues to go up and the demand continues to go down as ex expected seasonally, we're definitely going to see a leveling out of prices, if not a slight change. Um, and sometimes that does happen. Look, if you look at the trends here in the fall, it kind of slows down. Not always. Usually it kind of holds and is slow and steady through the fall and then increases again in the spring. But again, to point number three here, prices are going to depend on the inventory. So watch next how to win a bidding war. If you're a buyer and there are a great house that you really want and there's multiple offers, you're gonna need to get some insider tips on how to win about that. And of course, you can reach out to me to get a buyer consultation. And if you're looking for more information just in general on Almaden Valley, please check out my neighborhood and homes playlist for tours of homes in the area, as well as tours of different neighborhoods in the area. Thanks for watching. <music>